This is how you rank up in Rocket League Sideswipe. In this video, I'm going to break down by each rank from bronze to GC and discuss what helps at each rank. Let me start by saying that I'm champ one and twos currently, and I'm no means the best player at this game. These are all my opinions, and we are going to be focusing on 2v2s today. If you guys like a second part on 1v1s or on hoops, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting out in bronze. If you are stuck in bronze, I don't know what to tell you. But if you're just playing for the first time and you're wondering how to get better, here's what you can do. If you're first playing this game, you're going to notice that your opponents are quite literally bots. They are AI, they won't save the ball, they won't put the ball in. And once you get up to bronze two or three, you will actually face real players. So to get out of bronze, here's what can help. Play safe. Chances are, if you don't know what you're doing, your opponents also don't know what they're doing. So if you play safe, you can capitalize your opponents over committing and double committing for that matter. Next thing, get a feel for the overall mechanics. Ground control, joystick movement, understanding how the boost regen system works in Sideswipe is very important. It is super easy to get out of bronze, so I don't expect too many people to have issues here. So let's go on to silver. I don't come across too many players stuck at silver, but here are some tips. Learn to pop up the ball. If you're carrying the ball on the ground, it's very easy to pop it up over your opponent. To do so, make sure your car is oriented the way you want to pop it, and then tilt up your car. It'll do a flicking motion, and chances are if you combine it with a double jump, it will be very easy to put in the ball. This brings me to my next topic, double jumping. Double jumping is super important in Sideswipe. If you double jump in silver and make sure to conserve your boost, it is so easy to hit gold. Most players in silver are on touch and do not understand how to double jump or get to the ball very quick. This brings me to my next topic, which is boost and jumping at the same time. If you're playing on touch, there's a designated button you can enable, but if you're on controller, you have no excuse. Pressing the jump and the boost button is super easy and is a standard for anything above silver. It's super important for aerials, getting ceiling shots, or reaching hard to get saves. Learn different kickoffs. Here are the three I use. I fake, I do a fast flip reset kind of kickoff where I air roll into it. And then the third one I use is pancaking. These three different kickoffs give variation to your gameplay and sometimes it'll throw off your opponent and make it so you get an easy goal. The last piece of advice I would give to silver players is learn to air dribble. You might think air dribbling is advanced just like in Rocket League. However, air dribbling is one of the easiest mechanics in Sideswipe. To help with this, go into training, put on the bigger map, which is called SC, and then enable unlimited boost. If you do these things and you probably practice for 15 minutes, you should be able to air dribble in no time. If you do all of these things, you should be able to hit gold on your first day of playing, and I'm confident on that. The next rank we're going to be talking about is gold. If you are gold, you are average. So if you think that you are extremely bad at this game and you're calling yourself gold, you are average. Don't get down on yourself. This is the easiest rank to get stuck in, and I'm going to explain how to get out of it. Step number one rotate in gold it is so easy to get caught up on playing offense and playing fast but slow it down rotate it is easy to double commit just have an understanding of when to go and when your opponent is going to go if you can get a read on what your opponent's going to do and when they use their flip you can easily adapt and play around them Going off of this, do not go into the dent. On both sides, there are these two dents at the bottom of each of the corners. If you sit 
at your own net in front of the dent, the ball will hit you and go into your own net. It happens all the time. I see it silver, gold. I see GCs do it. Do not sit there. Instead, go to the lip of your goal, hang over it, and let the ball come to you. Next is boost management. This is where the starting point of where boost management is so important. If you have zero boost, go back. If you see your teammate in the air with no boost, go back and play safe. One of the worst things you can do is start from your net, fly to the other side by your opponent's goal, and then get beat and have zero boost to get back. This leaves you with an open net and leads to free goals. The next thing with gold is being consistent with kickoffs. In silver, you probably got a feel for what wins and loses a kickoff. Now you need to critique and perfect the few kickoffs that you do. Don't be afraid to fake or pre-jump if necessary. In platinum, you start to play against experienced players and decent teams. So before you start playing twos, make sure you warm up by playing some ones or hoops. Following this, make sure you turn defense into offense. When you are playing 2v2s, don't be afraid to play back and use your air dribbling and turn it to offensive opportunities. In plat, we see the introduction of new mechanics. I would suggest taking a look at purple shots, gold shots, flip resets, double taps, and saving your flips. These will all help when it comes to a 1v1 scenario or even just you by yourself 1v2ing the opponent team. I've talked about this at every single rank, but rotate, rotate, rotate. If you're not rotating and you're in plat, chances are you're going to be hard stuck. Watch your opponents, watch your teammates, get a read for how much boost they have, or when they have or don't have their flips. At this point, it is crucial that you play off your teammate. And if you're struggling to find a good teammate, we have a Discord designated for Sideswipe players and Sideswipe content creators. So if you're interested, the link to that will be in the description down below. The next mechanic I want to talk about is 50s. It is easier to win your 50s if you hit it with the top of your car. You can also help your chances by using your momentum. If you're playing at your goal line and you're trying to get the save, but it's coming down to a 50, hit it the opposite way that the opponent is coming from. If they're shooting from above, hit it down. If they're hitting it from down, hit it up. That way, there's no opportunity for them to hit it into your goal because you are hitting it straight back at them. The next advice I could give to people trying to get from plat to diamond is when you are playing well and winning games, just keep playing. But if you're losing and playing against the same people, just stop. If you're losing that matchup, chances are you're going to keep losing and keep playing against them. When you get to high plat, there is such a low player base for the higher ranks that it's going to match you up no matter what. So again, if you're losing, take a break. If you're winning, keep playing. I talked about this earlier in the video, but boost management in platinum is super important. If you do not have full boost, do not fully commit. Wait, be patient, know when you have your flip, if you're stuck falling, make sure your teammate is back to cover you. Some personal preferences for me as a player, I like to listen to music and I like to play with controller. If you are a touch player and you're cruising through the ranks, that's fine. Touch is just as effective as controller, but for me personally coming from Rocket League, it is definitely easier and more natural to pick up a controller and to play Sideswipe. After two weeks of playing Rocket League Sideswipe, I was able to hit Diamond, and I am positive that you guys are able to as well. 
if you guys would like a part two to this video where I go over how to go from diamond to GC, let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.